Number 43. Rank the compounds in each of the following groups in order of increasing acidity or basicity as indicated and explain the order you assign. And then we have letter C. So in this case, we have to rank according to increasing acidity of HOCl, HOBr, and HOI. Okie dokie. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to list my ranks, right? We need to go from increasing acidity. So that means if I'm increasing my least acidic compound would be on the left side. And then my most acidic would be on the right side. Okay, so that's starting off. Now let's figure out which one is which. Well, I have to look at these acids and say, okay, what type of acid is there? But I notice that I see that I have hydrogens, right? I have an hydrogen and I have an oxygen. And then for each one of them, I have a random element. Now it does not matter whether the oxygen is in the middle or on the end. The idea is that you just have to have hydrogen and oxygen, and then you see a non-metal, anyone, right? These are classified as oxo acids. Oxo for oxygen, so they have to have oxygen. And then acid means that you have to have that acidic hydrogen. So these are oxo acids. Now, oxoacid trends is that as you go down a group, your acidity will decrease. So the most acidic would be on the top. As you go down, you have lesser and lesser acids. Now, when you're ranking these, you don't rank the hydrogen or the oxygen because they all have those in common. You rank the element, the X element, right? The one that can change. So that would be chlorine, that'd be bromine, and iodine. So chlorine would be on the top. Then as you go down that group, bromine is next, and then comes iodine. So if that's the case, as I go down a group, I decrease um, acidity in my oxo acids, which means that the chlorine would be the most acidic. And as I go down to iodine, I become less acidic. So my least acidic oxo acid would be the one with the iodine. So H-O-I. Then comes the bromine, because bromine's in the middle, H-O-B-R on the periodic table, and then H-O-C-L. Now we just have to put our less than or greater than signs, but since we're going from least to most, H-O-I is less acidic than H-O-B-R, which is less acidic than H-O-C-L, and that is, oh, that was a long one, this is my answer. Now we just have to explain the reasoning. Well. Oxoacid acidity has everything to do with electronegativity and to decrease the um, acidity going down, your electronegativity will also decrease as you go down. Generally, the more for oxoacids, the more electronegative element as the central element is more acidic. So in this case, decrease acidity is linked to a drop in the electronegativity of, of the central atom. So since chlorine is more electronegative than the iodine, this would be more acidic. And there you go. Hopefully this helps. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.